All right. So let's see here. Got everything all set up. And so far, I can't complain. All right, everybody. So right now, I am streaming live using the Lumix uh, Tether beta software as well uh, as the Lumix G9 um, Micro Four Thirds camera. And I'm basically doing a test today. That's really what all this is about, is me testing out this beta software, which came out about, I believe, about a month ago. And uh, they had a latest update on it. And um, so I went and had downloaded it and want to check it out for myself because I would like to go live more. I just need a reliable way to do that. I will do a more in-depth review and my opinion kind of a video later on. So give it about a week or so. Uh, right now, I just want to test it all out, how it's working with OBS as well as the streaming and see how, how reliable this entire system is working. Right now, I'm really enjoying the quality of this um, video feed. And first thing off top is that through the live view um, feature of the Lumix Tether app is that you can control and dictate your area autofocus um, points. You can refocus yourself. You can change your exposure, your, um, your photo modes and everything else. As you can see, it's popping up on the screen. And I really like that. I like that it can show all of this. That's pretty cool. That's really awesome. And um, with that said, it gives me the ability to change anything. Also, oh, I like this part. You could check your, your level gauge. That's always important, right? So we have that. And then inside of it, you could check you, the live view quality. And I have it up as high as I can get it just because I know I have pretty good, uh, reliable um, connection through our internet. So that's what I want to check on. And um, what else is there? Uh, oh, you have zoom and scale. You have your histogram if you want, stuff like that. That's really cool. Uh, what I want to know is from you is what do you think of the quality of the feed as well as uh, how sharp is the footage coming through? Um, I'm only doing this at HD, so at 1080. So, But I want to know from you. Um, if you do have a Lumix camera out there, this is like the way to stream seamlessly with um, either YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and me, it would be more likely going to be YouTube. All you literally do is plug in one cable into your camera, you plug it into your computer via USB, you turn on the Lumix um, Tether app, and as soon as you turn on the camera, it will automatically ask you, do you want to choose to PC and Tether to your PC? And you press that, it's done. It order automatically recognize it and you can see the feed as I'm looking at it right now. It's really, really, really good. Um, here we go. So with that said, uh, I think I'm going to try to go live a little bit more often just to give you more content. I've been kind of like lagging at doing, you know, now it's been about every other week, but I want to try to step it up. But sometimes with my personal film projects and my clients projects and photo shoots, I, it's hard for me to find time to create a video, then even harder time to find uh, to edit it. So with that said, I think going live a little bit more often will help me to at least put out content to help all of you out there to step your game up um, or at least bring you along my journey. Right. So um, let me see if I switch because I notice it's it's probably hitting on these faces back here a lot. So it's probably hitting on the faces back there. Let me see if I do this. If I go boom, right, let's try this, there we go, cool, now, oh, it actually keeps that there, interesting, okay, it is a little more reliable, but that is very annoying, let me see if we switch it to face. Okay, it wants to focus on that face. But thank God I'm the priority because I am a little closer. There we go. Interesting. If I go. Ooh. 
Nice. I think I just put it on manual right there. And let me see. Awesome. Cool. And let me see one thing. Now I'm just readjusting. I want to try to find the best best settings so that when you do use it for yourself, I can recommend what I would personally use, which is um, going to give you the most reliable autofocus. I think manual is going to be the best. What I'm going to do is here, and then switch the camera to manual. Boom, bada, bing. Now you can see the focus points here. I mean the um, peak focusing. Look at that. Eee. Let me see if I can turn it off over here. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the peak focusing inside the camera. If I was gonna go live, I would for sure use the um, manual focus and just lock it. Once I set it, lock it just in case. Because since I have a lot of faces up top right here, you're gonna it's going to automatically want to search for those uh, if I'm using face detect and so forth. And I want it to be reliable. What do you think about it right now as I locked it into manual focus? Is it sharp for you? Um, do you like the quality of it? And let me know what other ways you think I could better improve this live stream. Because um, if you've been following me along this journey, I've tried it a few other times and it's been kind of crazy. I got better, uh, um, what do you call it, um, internet service. Like we increased the amount of bit rate that we can stream and everything i think it's upload and download speeds and everything so now i want to bring again this live situation live episodes to you using the lumix tether so um yeah this is it looks really good on my end that's for sure let me see if we can focus this bad boy about right oh there we go look at that all right cool cool cool, cool. boom all right yeah there we go. Nice. Okay. So, um, whoops. Let me get that out of there. There we go. Cool. So now, um, I got to figure out a way to get that white box out of there. That'd be the only thing I'd want to do is get this white box out of my face. Let me see if there's a... No. 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 Um... Okay, there we go. I was like, what did I just do? Um, fine, that's cool. That's cool. All right, well, nonetheless, I got to figure out how in the world do I get that out of there and still maintain. That's probably inside. Oh, that's not the last time I do it. Okay, um, so that's one thing I noticed I'm gonna put on my list is like, okay, if I am gonna shoot in manual, how am I gonna readjust, uh, no, excuse me, if I'm gonna shoot manual, how am I gonna take away all these, uh, that, little, that box? Everything else looks pretty good. I obviously can take away the, the, um, the uh, excuse me, focus, well, the focus peak is in color. That I could turn off real easily. Now I have to see how I can turn off all those other things. But with that said, um, if, if I really just want to make this dumb easy, I could just, you know, just do that. Call it a day. But if you want to just lock it in and not have to worry about it hunting, because it's hunting right now, and that is fucking annoying. But that's not the, that's not the software. See, the software allows you to readjust as I just did right there without touching the camera, and that's awesome. The reliability, as you can tell, is really good. Um, let me switch to 
this one thing here. Oh, that is that. And then, there we go. Let's try that. And then, let's see. Cool. So, um, with that said, I like the reliability. I love what I'm getting from the preview. It looks super sharp to me. Again, I would like to hear from you. Um, let me know if you, how you like my setup, how you like the color play, the background, the whatever. If there's something distracting, let me know about that. Um, otherwise, if you have a Lumix camera, this is like, again, a specific Lumix camera. Only the G9, GH5, GH5S, and all the S-series cameras, you can do this too with this program, which is the Lumix Tether. You just type in Lumix Tether on Google. It'll give you what you need. Um, direct link. It's super easy. It's available for your PC and Mac. So that's real cool. Um, it works seamlessly with OBS. So you will have to download OBS in order to stream to your favorite um, online platform, whether it be Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube or whatnot. But it, it communicates seamlessly to the Lumix Tether app, which thus connects your camera to your computer. So either way, uh, I'll do more in-depth review once I get a few of these bugs in terms of, well these are my user these are user bugs really out of the way and then I can give you what kind of settings I would use for this and uh, if you have any questions or comments in the meantime feel free to post those down below if you like this video as crazy it may have been feel free to comment like share and subscribe and of course hit that bell icon if you want to get any more notifications of upcoming videos i'm robert silver until next time keep shooting stay creative